You're looking at the brand new deck of the Northwestern and the guy who's been working on the boat all summer long, Edgar Hansen. Edgar, you, you put a lot of work into this boat this year. A lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of sweat, a lot of blood, a lot of aches and pains. What um, did you have done? We went into dry dock when we first came down, found some shafting issues. So we had our whole shaft replaced. We had all new bearings put in. And the deck was 31 years old, so we had it completely restored, ripped up, and all it's all brand new. Paint job, you name it, little odds and ends, had the engines fixed as usual. So it's all about maintaining, making sure we don't break down while we're up there. Norman Hansen worked all summer in the Northwestern too. Despite being on a reality TV show, he doesn't like TV cameras much. He had nothing to say. This was the first time this much work has been done in like 30 years. This right? was pretty major, yeah. I mean, we spent well over three quarters of a million dollars. So you've been working hard while the captain's been kind of out enjoying himself, right? I don't, honestly, I don't know what he's been doing. Um, last five months, I think I've seen him, I don't know, seven days. Seven days. That's, that's usually a good thing for you guys, right? For me, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, couldn't ask for any, anything more. Is he upstairs? Probably sleeping or watching uh, a movie. Watching I, a movie, huh? I don't know. I'm gonna check in on him. Thanks, Edgar. Yeah, see ya. Hey, Captain Sieg, you up here? Hey, Mike. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good. What are you up to? Just got some last minute stuff to take care of before we get out of here. Well, time to go back to work, but you certainly had a lot of fun this summer. We got to do all sorts of things, the least of which was going to New York to be on the Conan O'Brien show. Oh, it was a blast, but it's not all we did. That's for sure. We had two packed full days of adventure in the big city. After a six hour flight from Seattle, Captain Sieg was ready to hit New York full speed ahead. Since he was in town for the Conan O'Brien show, the network sent a car to pick him up at the airport. He was getting the celebrity treatment right away, so I hitched a ride. Emergency cigarette. Yeah. Before Sig had some time to relax at his hotel, we made a stop on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. I heard the firemen of Ladder 16, Engine 39, were big fans of SIG and the Northwestern. But they're also firemen, and they couldn't hang around waiting for a celebrity visit. I uh, just had a 12 foot fire that ran off. Yeah? Really? Well, you know, they're not on a set schedule here. But another truck from another station house stopped by for fuel. In no time, word that Captain Sig was in town spread like a wildfire. So this is no crab season now? Right now, normally we'd be fishing uh, salmon. Okay. We'd be in a salmon charter, but we're taking the summer off this year. It's, All right, good for you. Yeah, it's like the third time since so I was 14 years old. Ladder 16 and Engine 39 eventually came back, and it wasn't long before the crab boat captain was holding court in the yeah. FDNY's kitchen. Everywhere we go, firemen are really into the show. Yeah. Cops, they're really into it. <laughs> I had a guy at a cop station, he's like, you know what? We basically shut the precinct down. Then it was gifts for the king. What do you got? T-shirt. Oh, right, All right, man. Sweatshirt. shirt. That's great. Yeah, I'll try to wear it on the show. Captain Sig, thanks for dropping by. Uh, 3916 Logan, we love the show. Go Northwestern and keep away from Matazzi. And just like on a crab boat, there is plenty of joking around at fire stations. I like the pranks. I like the pranks they do to each other, the different ships. It's pretty good. It was a picture-perfect visit and a terrific start to this New York adventure. Show the fish! Say Sigalicious! Sigalicious! Later that night, out to dinner in Greenwich Village, Sig was still out posing for pictures. Since we had to be up late, the captain wanted to introduce us to some of his Irish friends. There's Irish guys in here. They're tough, man. <laughs> you gonna hug me or not? Hang <laughs> in, buddy. Say guys, I seen you today. Yeah. I was watching the day. Brilliant. Good guy. Say guys, what's my name? Ziggy. Ah! <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. By the time we left Peter Dillon's pub, the night would not even be half over. I just back. I just back. What? I love this guy. I love this guy. Jesus Christ. I love this guy. I love this guy. All right, there you have it. 3.29 a.m. We are 
in the Bronx, and this is the Fulton Fish Market. And this, well, Sig, what else would you want to do on your trip to New York but come to the fish market at 3.30 in the morning? What else would I want to do? I want to sleep. Fulton Fish is 400,000 square feet of fresh fish waiting to be sold to local markets and restaurants. It's busiest between 3 and 6 in the morning, a perfect time for a visit from the king of crab. I watch him all the time, every single day, on my TV. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Just don't kiss me. It's a Leo, a Leo. When I go on load my swordfish boats, I'm going to have to show them. There you go. Yeah. Let me get a quick picture. Right? Sure, sure. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm smiling. It wasn't all pictures and photographs. Some business also needed to be discussed. The difference is that uh, you've got Russian crab, Norwegian crab, Alaskan crab. The, 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 the stuff that you get out of Russia, they've got all different sizes. The stuff that comes out of Alaska, it's all uniform. So the sizes are all the same. And the Japanese like that. That's what they're accustomed to, and that's what they buy. After shaking hands and seeing and smelling everything from swordfish to clams and halibut. Halibut. That's Norwegian bread. We retired to the core. It's time to put this first day in the Big Apple to bed. Well, Sig, um, it's 4.40 in the morning. Should we yeah, go think... back and get some rest? Yeah. You think so? You a little tired? Yeah. <laughs> You're right, man. You're a trooper. Well, day one was pretty long, but day two was really where we had the most fun. Oh, it was a lot of fun, but kind of busy. Yeah, pretty busy, and we'll see that coming up when the luckiest catch continues. Fisherman superstitions. I think bananas are a superstition on just about every boat in the fleet. It's just one of those things where it's been passed down generation to generation. Um, you know, I'm not too concerned about, about the banana deal, but we don't like to see them on here. I think I've seen them once and we tossed them. So you don't take any chances when it comes to bananas and superstitions. Fisherman superstitions.